Hello friends, good morning. It's good to see everybody again. All right, let's start our song. Hello and how are you? Hello and how are you? Hello and how are you? How are you today? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine today. Smile at me and wave hello. Smile at me and wave hello. Smile at me and wave hello. Wave hello today. Hola y como estas? Hola y como estas? Hola y como estas? Como estas hoy día? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Como estas hoy día? Nice. All right, let's start our flag, okay? Can you stand up with me? All right, look at our United States of America flag. Put your right hand over your heart and say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice. Let's get our earth flag out. There's our beautiful earth flag. Can you put that right hand back over your heart? All right. Say, I pledge allegiance to the earth and all the life that it supports. One planet in our care, irreplaceable, with sustenance and respect for all. Let's take a look at the weather today. What kind of weather are we having today? Weather app. Hmm. Oh, weather bear looks like he could go outside today. Check it out. Looks like it might be a little cloudy, but 64 is going to be our high today. So we could definitely Put on maybe a long sleeve shirt and some pants and head outside to play. That would be nice. Okay. Let's count our calendar, okay? Let's see what we have here today. Oh, we're getting towards the end of this month, aren't we? We're almost out of days in March. Pretty soon it's going to be April. Okay, here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Yesterday was Sunday. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Hoy es lunes, hoy es lunes. Today is Monday, lunes. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and got outside for a little bit. That's nice out, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Let's count. Um, to yesterday was 29. 29. And then we added, we're going to add one more because it's a new day, right? Let's count how many days we have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
29. That's right, it's 30. 30. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's count backwards, you ready? 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off. Yeah. It's kind of tricky to figure out if 30 is an odd number or an even number because it has a zero in the units place. Hmm. What other number has a zero in the units place? Yeah, 10. Let's see if we can count by twos and land on a 10. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, ten has a zero in the units place and it's even. So that means 30 must be even. Let's keep counting, okay? 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Hey, 20 has a zero in the units place too. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Yep, 30 is an even number. Older friends, you've been working with some money last week. Do you think we can make 30 using coins? Let's try it. It's a 10, right? That's a dime. That's 10. There's another 10. The only problem is I don't have another dime. Hmm. What am I going to do? 10, 20. If I had another dime, I could make 30. I don't have another dime. Let's see. I have a nickel. 10, 20, 25, another nickel, 30. Hey, I did it. I made it to 30. 10, 20, 25, 30. I did it. I made it all the way to 30 using these coins. Pretty cool, huh? I wonder if there's another way you could make to 30. Maybe you could try that at home. Ask your mommy and daddy if you can have some change to count. Try to make a different way to 30. Take a picture of it if you let me, if you find another way to get to 30, okay? All right, let's see. Let's do our poems. How about I scooch over here, oops. Let's do our spring cheer. I love all the seasons, but springtime is the best. Let's put on our raincoats. Now we are all dressed. In the rain, we love to play. And this is what we hear. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. That's the season's cheer. And let's try our March poem. In March, the wind blows down the door and spills my soup upon the floor. It laps it up and roars for more. Blowing once, blowing twice, blowing chicken soup with rice. And our green spring.
string poem that has that new quick and easy word, little, and some really good rhyming words, right? Little green buds on the trees, pop. Little green frogs by the pond, hop. Little green sprouts in the dirt, grow. Little green leaves on the bush, show. Little green bugs on the twigs, cling. Little green signs tell us it's spring. <laughs> I heard a lot of good rhyming words. Oops. Mrs. Boyd forgot to do our 29 plus. Sorry. Let's head back here for just a second. I got so excited about the money. All right, 29 and today is 30. So let's see, 29 plus one more makes 30. All right, how can we make 30 with our 10 bars in units? Let's see, 30. Well, this is our tens place, so it's telling us that we have three ten bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One ten bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two ten bars. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two ten bars and nine units was 29. But we can't have 10 units. Mm -mm. It has to become a 10 bar. One more unit makes a 10 bar. Three 10 bars and no units. That's how you make 30. Let's see, today is today is Monday. March thirtieth to 2020. There it is. There's the date. Now we got it on there. And we forgot to put up our weather today. I'm just forgetting all sorts of things today. There we go. Silly Mrs. Boyd. All right. Partly cloudy today, but it's going to be nice. Hopefully you get outside. Okay. Um, Let's see, today for your, in your lesson plans, you have a book called Plenty of Penguins. And I kind of read you two books today. You get a bonus book. You have plenty of penguins today. You're going to learn all about penguins. This one is a nonfiction book, which means that it has some true facts in it that are really real. But this one, called Penguin Pete's, Penguin Pete's New Friends is a fiction book, which means it's a made up story. Penguin Pete can talk and his friends can talk and animals can't really talk, can they? No. So this is a fiction book. It's got a made up story. So I hope you enjoyed both of those penguin stories. We're trying to finish up, I know when, when we were at school, we were talking about Antarctica and we had spring break and we had have to stay at home for school now. So we want to kind of finish up Antarctica. So we're going to be learning this week about penguins and whales. So some exciting stuff to, to learn this week, huh? All right. For your field trip today, my friends, you're going, you could go with your mommy and daddy to something called the National Gallery of Art. It's on the computer. If they click on the, if they click on the link that I gave them, it will take you to this place. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. 
It's the National Gallery of Art where they have lots of paintings and lots of sculptures. And if you go down here to search the collection, it'll ask you where would you, what artist would you like to look up? So you could try one of the artists that we have done at school, like Kandinsky huh. um, or Monet, that would be nice. Um, but the one I wanted to look up today, her name is Mary, Mary Cassatt. Oh. See if it comes up. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. And what I think is neat about this is it shows all the different paintings that artists did. And you can choose one that you want to look at close, more closely. The one I wanted to choose was this one right here. The children playing at the beach. So I'm going to click on that one, and then it's going to give me a close-up of that picture. I can get even closer if I click on it again. And now, if I press this uh, button, plus button over here, it's going to get even closer. And closer. And then I can move it around and I can see, what are those girls doing? <gasps> They're playing in a in a pail, just like we do when we're out on recess. And what I think is really neat is you can see all the tiny little brush strokes that Mary Cassatt used to paint these little girls playing at the beach. It's kind of fun to look at the painting so closely. We don't normally get to get so close to a painting when we're at a museum, do we? No, they don't let us touch it. But this one, we can touch it, we can look really close. It's kind of fun. So maybe you can try that today for your field trip. After you're done looking at some artworks at the National Gallery of Art, I thought you might want to make your very own museum at your house. You could make some works. Your mommy and daddy, brothers and sisters could make some works. Maybe you are even with your grandma. And she could make some too. Mrs. Boyd made one and I asked Mr. Boyd to make one. I made this one actually a little early. I made this one, it was St. Patrick's Day and I wanted to make a work that was green for St. Patrick's Day. So I made this one on St. Patrick's Day and yours doesn't have to be on a frame or on a canvas. You could do yours on paper. You could make sculptures. You could use your recycles. Ooh, look in the recycle bin and see if there's something fun that you could use to make a sculpture out of. It could be with paint. It could be with Play-Doh. It could be with pencil or markers. You could draw your house, your family, whatever you want. But Mrs. Boyd wanted to make a green painting, so I made this one. That's the one that I made. And I like the way that all the paint looks like it's flowing down to the ground. When you make a painting and you hang it up in your room, you can make what they call a museum label to put right next to it to tell who the artist is and what they named it and maybe a little bit about what they think about it. Mrs. Boyd on mine, I put, I put, Shamrock Surprise, artist, Mrs. Boyd. The medium I used, what did I use to make this painting, is acrylic um, paints and with flow um, improver. And I made this acrylic flow painting because I wanted to have something green for St. Patrick's Day. And I think I love the movement in this painting. It looks like it's flowing down, like maybe like a waterfall. And it was a surprise to me because that's not kind of what I was going for. I was going for something completely different, but surprise, I got something different. 
Um, this is one that my son did when he was about your age. And he used watercolor and then he used black paint on top of the watercolor to make it look like the sky was reflecting in the little pond or lake there. So that's one he did. And Mr. Boyd likes to get in on the action. He likes to do some artwork too. I'm not sure what he was thinking on this one. This one he did the other day with some watercolors. She looks like she has a big giant hand there, maybe. And it looks like there's an octopus behind her. I don't know what's going on there, Mr. Boyd. Okay. But you can have fun making your art gallery and make some little labels for each one of your paintings to say the name of it and who did it. So you'll know when you walk around. Then, if you could want to make a video so I can tour your art museum, that would be awesome. Now he might not get done in one day. That's okay. Might take a while. Maybe the whole week. Who knows? Whenever it's uh, uh, a nice outside, I want you to go outside. But if it's rainy like it has been for a few days, use that time to make some fun art, okay? And then hang them up in your room and you can take a video and show me your art gallery, okay? All right. Um, show and share today was Tyler and Ly uh, Layla. And Layla made muffins. Yeah, that was really a cool video. And tomorrow, we'd like to see Vance and Nova. So if Vance and Nova can do some show and share, that would be great. Okay? I'll see you next time, my friends. Have a great day. Bye.